Welcome to week three of the vlog. Week three already. This, this used to be the last week of the vlog, but I've added an extra little bonus vlog onto Christmas Eve, so you will get to <laughs> see week four. Just keep turning around and looking at it. <laughs> it's Sunday. Turn what time is it? About half past eleven. <laughs> David's giggling at the dog in front of us. Um, mind the poo. Lots of dog poo around. Uh, we're just down the beach. What's your favourite time to wear sunglasses, David? Uh, when it's sunny. <laughs> when it's, no, like sunny cold weather you enjoy yeah. wearing them. So it is, although it's not that cold. I've no, got, I, could, I feel a bit I hot could. and David's taking his hat off. Um, but yeah, we're heading down the beach. We're meeting my sister, my niece and my brother-in-law. We can see them from where we are, from whence we are. They're having a little, well, they're not throwing any any rocks in the sea like because like because the, the tide's out but yeah it's a lovely day so beautiful and yeah nice way to start the sunday and to be honest i know it's 12 o'clock this is us starting our sunday david has been hoovering sun, i actually just see sunglasses on just because of the reflection off of your hat <laughs> it's a good hat isn't it right let's get on with this lovely beach walk then that's me doing the the music for my own video. You got eyes. You got eyes, is. The eyes. Jim. Charlotte, do you want to give us a little uh, tutorial? I've, I've just got white icing at the moment. <laughs> it's not very exciting. I haven't even decided what I'm going for. Oh, yet. these look great. But whose are the best, probably? Uh, oh, I like your antlers. Thank I don't you. know what they taste like. They taste... What's the best one out of these? They're biscuits. Don't... Yeah, they're biscuits, they biscuits, but which one's the best one? That one. Oh. Which one? This one? Yeah. What is it? That's a reindeer. Well done! A reindeer. Oh, have you made a reindeer? Oh yeah! That's a lovely reindeer. Has it got a red hat on? Which one are you going to eat? That one. Go on then. <laughs> Nose off straight away. Should we eat some? Is, it, is this my... Oh, it's gone on the floor. <coughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> he can't stop vacuuming. Sunday evening. What should we do on Sunday evening, David? Let's do a cookery course. We're doing a Jamie Oliver. It's called Festive Edible Gifts. And I believe we're making mince pies, Christmas flapjacks is what you said. I'm, I'm excited about those guys. And cranberry sauce. Do you like cranberry sauce? No. Uh, don't mind I'm it. I'm excited. If it's nice, I might make it on Christmas Day. Why are we both in black? You're not wearing very Christmassy t-shirt. Are you going to no. put something Christmassy on? Um, I might wear, well, probably oh, not. Oh, we've got Christmas Because we've got Christmas, Christmas things on. Right, this girl loves Christmas. And this guy loves Christmas. This guy. We got these for, um, your mum got them, your mum and dad got them for us for Christmas one year. Did. And they, they get a lot of use, let me tell you. Um, so yeah, so we're just getting prepped. It doesn't start until half past six, but it says be ready from quarter past. So we're just going to get everything out. Um, and then I've bought, ready. I, I bought some mulled wine yesterday, non-alcoholic, but David's not that into it. But I did buy um, the vintage sparkling Chardonnay grape juice. Do you want to try some of that? Um, yeah, why not? Not now. All right. Or now? No, I'm okay now. Okay. I'll read out what we need. So you've got the mince meat out. Yeah. Oh, uh, what have you forgot? 150 grams of mixed dried fruit. I thought you got that from... I didn't buy it because it was brandy sent in. Brandy flavoured. Have a look and see what we've got in there. I don't, we, we won't have anything. Oh, we would have chucked no. it all out. They're not going to have anything in the cult like that. Let me ring my mum. All right. Silly me. My mother's rescued it. <laughs> she had some. She was due to be making a Christmas pudding. So I've stolen that from her. I've also prepared everything else. I've got everything out. I've been eating nuts. That's why there's a lot of mouth action going on. And yeah. We've got 25 minutes to go. David's got to get back from my mum and dad's. After picking up that. I'm excited about it. We're preheating, perfect. So, oven's on. Now the next thing we're gonna move on to is our flapjacks. 
throughout the lesson, step by step, I'm going to put ingredients, quantities in the chat so you can always refer to them. But if you ever get lost, just shout at me and I'll repeat, repeat it as well. And look at that. Whose course is it, David? My course. <laughs> He's very much joy. taken over. We're just about to put the flapjacks in the oven. Because what we want to do, obviously, when we're giving them gifts, we want to put them, make them look pretty, nice and even. The camera. And if yeah. it's a little bit... I'm bringing them over. Ready, tell them whose course it is. Uh, My course. It can crumble as it's <laughs> it comes out. Nice. So. Mince pies are done. Flapjacks are about to come out the oven. I'll show you the mince pies. David decorated these because he's such a clever boy. We're about to make cranberry sauce, which cranberry David sauce. doesn't like. <laughs> do you not even like it in a sandwich? Uh, yeah, I do like so it in a sandwich, so I might have it in a sandwich tomorrow. Pastry and our flapjack. Come oh, out look, she's already got a pan and... I'll show you a few ways of... It's all coming together and I've even had a costume change into <laughs> pyjamas. But yeah, so the flapjacks are done. Coral, who is instructing us, is still talking so in the background, but I will show you. So flapjacks are done. And then David's just putting this on our constructed shelf that is uh, acting as a cooling tray. And then this is our cranberry sauce, which doesn't look like any cranberry sauce I've ever had, but it is nice and I think it'll go lovely with some brie sandwiches in the week so there we go you enjoyed it David yeah pretty good fun oh always. good it's Monday night oh, very it's fun. time to collect monies at uh, clip minis nails I hate doing this oh, no, so I hate doing it so much oh, it, it fills me with actual dread I feel sick when I'm doing it she hates it but her nails, I can feel she, her nails gone because oh she's older and she doesn't. She's not an outdoor cat. She doesn't wear her nails down as much. And like for a long time, she's been really good on her scratch post, and we encourage her to use her scratch post and put treats on there and things like that. But one's gone a little bit too far that it that it's the, the scratch post won't do anything. It's not gone into her pad yet, but it will be if I don't do it. <sighs> David's useless. <laughs> he can just about hold her so we have to hold her put a towel over her and get like one little paw out the front because otherwise she tries to bite you she's only got one tooth she's trying to bite you the back legs are going so we have to sort of scoop her under it is the most stressful thing ever now it is only one paw I think it's two claws on one paw one is definitely one that I need to do today and the other one is if I can't get it done today I'll do it tomorrow oh my god well yeah we can't do two in a row well I've, I can't remember whether she, uh, do you know what it's so traumatic I almost blank it from my mind afterwards <laughs> I was thinking about maybe putting the cone on her but I just think that's going to be too much bother should we just stick to the to the yeah <sighs> oh my god I suppose I better go and do it then we didn't do it she got me it's horrible very bad. Isn't it? I just don't know what we're going to do. First of all, the paw that I had wasn't the right paw. So then she was just going mental, just scratching. Then we got her on the bed and her claw was caught in the bed sheet. And I was like, perfect, I can use that. Like, she's she's in. So I thought, I'll open the little things and that's when she got me. And it's so painful. I don't think I can get it again. It's really deep. She's gone mm. really deep. Like, there's a gouge and then a... Yeah. And then she just prances around like nothing's happened. I was giving her a lovely cuddle on the bed saying, I don't want to hurt you. That's so frustrating. We'll have to try it again tomorrow. Like two big old humans can't just cut one little nail off of a Well, she's cat. just, she had, so the way, and I love you, David, and you're so good at everything else. Oh, like, I'm terrible with her, because like. But when he's got her in the towel, like. Oh, well, I've, I've got a tight. I'm holding her. Yeah, I know, but tight. both of her arms are in as well. Well, you need one of them out. So when, yes, yeah, as in, yeah, so when you've got her tight, it, mm. both of her arms are in. So when I was trying to get another, uh, that's when her head comes out and that's when she's going for you. <sighs> I had a good feel of it and it's not quite on the pad. Like, there's a, I can get my finger underneath it. All right, well, we, we try again tomorrow. Yeah. We let her calm down tonight. It's Christmassy, isn't it, Liv? Yeah. I've got a winter top on. Well, we'll get her at some point. Dress from Joni. This, this is definitely the worst time we've had trying to get it. Normally, it takes us a couple of attempts, but then we get it, and then she gets stressed out, and she's like, <laughs> well, she gets herself so worked up. Yeah, she up. wasn't coughing or anything, was she? No, so she'll see. She's, anyway. been, she's, been, she's known it's coming. It's Monday. This is a new angle, isn't it? We haven't ever filmed, like, no. it looks like student halls, doesn't she it? Here she comes. Here she comes. Go away. I mean, mm. it's Monday night. 
I'm home from work. There's um, COVID seems to be kicking off a bit, doesn't it, David? Yeah, really bad. So we we've reigned in the old socials. David's not going on his Christmas do on Thursday, which I think is a very good idea. And there's an event that was happening, which has now, now been cancelled. Which I'm obviously I'm sad the event's not happening, but I'm pleased though because of COVID. Yeah. So. Yeah, just try and stay safe till Christmas, really, haven't we? We should mm -hmm. do a COVID test tonight, actually. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so Monday, I've got book club tonight, not my Patreon book club, my book club with my pals on Facebook. That's at eight, so I need to finish The Toy Makers by Robert Dinsdale. And I'm on page 434, and it's 468. So I've got 34 pages left, so I might go and get in the bath now. I've also got a little bit of postage today. But I can't open all of this in front of you. Why? No reason. Um, and I think that's what's happening. Oh, David's going to make me a nice dinner tonight. Aren't oh, you? yeah, we've got like a nut, nut roast, roast, haven't we? From with some that we're going to have yesterday. Roasties, but we were too full, so we just had some uh, Brussels. <laughs> just over me. I am. I'm telling you all the good stuff. <laughs> um, you're not very Christmassy today, David. No, I'm not. And it's... this is a lie. It is a lie now, isn't it? So you're not a herbivore. Well, but the dinosaur run is a herbivore. Yeah, but you you can't claim to be a her before. I don't claim to be her before. before. Mm. Um, Lie before. But we could, I suppose, we could do some presents or something a bit later on, maybe. Mm, Keep it Christmassy. God, I'm so exhausted after just that small, tiny. I felt tired before, and that is. I thought you are not adrenalised off your nut now. Oh, I feel like that's gone, and I'm, I'm on the I'm on the, come, on the down come down for it now. <sighs> tomorrow. Let's try it again tomorrow. I was mentally tomorrow. prepared to do it tomorrow. I wasn't mentally prepared to do it tonight. Oh god, right, I'm gonna go and get the bath. Yeah. Well, I am in a very good mood. Why, David? Because Minnie's. Because I've just tricked. done Minnie's claw. So this is now Wednesday. So yesterday, got my hair done yesterday, guys. Thanks for saying it looks nice. Um, yesterday, got in too late. I couldn't face it. The, today, I got in from work. I said to David, grab her. We're gonna do it now. So she'd only just woken up from a nap, which I think might be key, which is cruel, but also I need to do it. Got her in the towel. Got the wrong pour straight away, of course we did. And then got the second pour. She basically let us do it. I took a minimal amount off, um, but it'll be enough. enough for her to be able to get into the scratch post now and enough to stop and it from going in. So, yeah. Oh, so that's really cheered me because I was dreading that all the way home. Um, so, yeah, as I said, it's Wednesday. What day is it, David? Wednesday. Yeah, but what day? Spider Man Day. David's going to watch Spider Man at the cinema tonight. Um, in and less than an hour, in less I'll than be an on hour. my way. He's very excited. Very, very excited. very excited. So I'm on my own tonight. But that's good because I need to wrap some of David's presents. So there's going to be some wrapping going on. That's good because he stinks. <laughs> I've also got to film my book haul, which I'm very excited to film. There's lots and lots of books. So I'm about to film that now. Um, make myself dinner. I think I'm just going to have, I'm going to have a bath. I haven't opened my Lush Advent calendar from yesterday, um, so I need to do that. And David also got me some lovely shower gel in my normal cal Advent calendar yesterday. So um, I'm going to use that shower gel in the in the old uh, bath. And yeah, so I'll film my book haul now, then we'll get things ready for a bath, then we'll get comfy, by which point David will have gone. I'll decide if I want dinner or if I want to do some wrapping. Might want to do some wrapping. I might even put a film on, David. I need to get my films up. I'm trying to watch a hundred new to me films by the end of the year. Let me tell you what number I'm on. Hold on. Because well, I think after I finish, because I've been watching the Andrew Garfield spider man because I haven't seen them before. So I'm just about to finish the second one. So then I'll be up to 95 after New Spider-Man oh, tonight. So we watched Single All The Way on Monday um, on Netflix, and that was my 95th new to me film of the year. So if I watch one tonight, that's 96. So I could still do it because I am filming a video next week where I'm going to do a sort of like... What do you do it, David, when you do Sorry. like... What's it called? I always call it the World Cup of Everything, but I think I picked that up from Richard Osman, where I'd be like, what was the best film out of The Princess Switch, Switched Again and The Office Party, and then make a note, and then... You know when you do like a flow chart? Yeah, it's like, then, a, little, like a knockout. Yeah, like system. a knockout. Yeah. So I'm going to film a video next week of the, hopefully, 100 new to me films that I've watched this year. So yeah, it would be good to watch a so film what tonight. What are you on? I'm on 95. I've watched 95. Single oh, of all the way was 95. So I'll be up with... If you're going to watch the one I'm out, then you'll be on 96 and I'll be on 95. 
What, this what Spider Man tonight's gonna be 95 for you? Yeah, yeah. So I this, might watch. So this is 94, then oh. Spider Man will be 95. Do you know what I might watch? I might watch. Um... Don't watch something that I might like. Oh, no, it's not new to you though, so you'd probably be quite pleased I'm watching it. What's it called? It's a Wonderful Life, I've never seen it. Oh, yeah, you should do. It's nice. Is it on anything? Uh, I think I've got it on DVD, but it's also oh. on Sky and stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna good. probably do that. So yeah, let me um, film this video and uh, we'll be ready to go. Say bye, David. Bye. There I am. So yeah, as I said, I'm going to start the um, the evening with a bath. This is the shower gel David got me yesterday. Jolly. It's warming cinnamon and a dash of uplifting orange. Now I'm so pleased that this one smells nice because I'd smelt this in the shop, guys, and it smelt like actual puke. <laughs> that's the dish. Uh, that's the uh, washing machine going. If you can hear it. Um, so yeah, pleased to hear that. Pleased to smell that it doesn't smell like actual puke. So let's have a look. So I've got the last two things I got in here um, on top because I got a Twilight bath bomb which smells, <sighs> it just smells lovely. I think the, t the, the term I'm looking for and I'm loath to use it but it's very manly and then I've got this which to me, I mean it really does look like a penis <laughs> but it's a, um, it's a little mouse and it's in the candy cane bubble bar or like the candy i used to get a bubble bar that was this color pink with a little yellow flower or something in the middle and it smells like that i don't know what that was called that bubble bar but i believe these to be little bath oils <laughs> well, I that then. um so yeah so maybe i'll have one of those and then because i'm in the second half i'm in the business end of the month now i've got to move this round so that's empty now and then move this oh my god 14 is oh where was it 14 Oh, David, you come and help me with this. I need you to hold the bottom of the box while I pull this out. Is it? It's the 15th today, so the, the, the 14 on this is absolutely massive. I wonder what that could be. I've literally no idea. I can't get this bottom one out. Would you mind holding it for me? I'm in the second half already. I can't. No, don't do that because oh, the inlay will come out. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. Because um, I want to swap them around. I don't want to get that out every no. time. 14 is massive. So I'm going to open it here. I've no idea what 14 could be that's so big. Massive. Oh, it did not need... Oh, it's two things! That's exciting. This what? is exciting. So it's a shampoo box. Oh, that you put that? And these are so much better because the previous shampoo tins they had, and it fits perfectly in there. So you get a shampoo. Could you just tell me what shampoo that is, David? On there. It smells very cinnamony. Can I have a look at it? Yeah, it looks like this. I think it just says new shampoo bar. Oh. <laughs> Variety is the spice of life and cinnamon is the spice of invigorated roots. Oh, God. I've got it stuck in there, though. <laughs> Oh no. I mean, that's not good, is it, from Lush? That, that's not good. That's just literally, I'm going to have to get a pallet knife yeah, to get that out. Try that, but you're not going to... So maybe you need to use it a few times before you start using the cork, yeah, no, which is lovely. Um, <laughs> little thing to keep it in. That's perfect because I love a shampoo bar and I think they smell really nice. I can't always use them on my hair because I'm very bleached. But I never know where to store them because I think they always get really soggy. So hopefully... I mean, once I've got it out. So that's 14. That's a good gift, that one, with two things in it. Then let's have a look what 15 is. It's tiny. Little pot. I was hoping that this section would be less bath stuff. I mean, it's lovely to have bath stuff. Oh, this is sleepy body lotion. <laughs> I've got this one from last year. I haven't even used it up yet. Um, but it's lovely. Very, very nice. In fact, I will use... Look, I'll show you how much I've got of last year's. Oh no, it's, I didn't get it last year. I bought this because I wouldn't have got this one. So I bought this one in the year and I haven't used it all up yet. When can I have to use it by? June. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, it still smells lovely. So yeah, I'll use that one up and then I'll start on that one. Very good. So yeah, there we go. So getting in the bath. Oh, maybe as I'm using Sleepy Body Lotion tonight, maybe I'll use my Sleepy Bath Bomb. Um, pop that in there. Back in. And yeah, I think I'm going to go and make myself like a little fake gin and ton, as uh, the cool kids say. I think the cool, well, the cool kids, I mean Joe Wicks, and have this in the bath and then use my sleepy bath stuff afterwards and read some of Stay Another Day, which David and I are both reading at the same time at the moment <laughs> because it's our Patreon book club book. But yeah, let's do that and get this out, obviously. 
That's not coming out, that needs a knife on it. I've put it very high so you can't see any of the presents I'm about to wrap. I don't think my sister will be watching this anyway. She hasn't even watched the video, guys, of her in the food boot, like the buffet food one. So I'm just going to find, what time is it even? Well, it's 20 past eight, 20 past six. Um, so I'm just going to find, I've forgotten what it's even bloody called. What is it called? It's a Wonderful Life. I'm gonna watch that. I've got a feeling it's not actually that's lo that long. There we go, It's a Wonderful Life. That, I've typed in it and it's come up, It's a Wonderful Life. 125 minutes, it's over two hours long, it is long. So I'm gonna put that on. And um, yeah, I'm gonna start wrapping. I've got all of David's stuff and a few other bits, excuse me, a few other bits of, as I said, my sister's and a few other bits. But yeah, I think I'm gonna be here a while. But I think maybe I'll do an hour, then I'll cook dinner, although dinner takes about 35 minutes. All in brown paper again this year. Hilariously and annoyingly though, you buy brown paper, guess what it comes in? Oh yeah, of course it comes in plastic. <laughs> so, um, yeah, gonna be doing a lot of wrapping, a lot of watching. I see the other end of it, David was so excited about Spider-Man, he was like, oh, I feel like I'm going on like an interview or a first date or something. I'm so excited. So, yeah, hopefully it's as good as he hopes. Uh, might I make a cup of tea actually? No, we'll crack on and I'll make a cup of tea when I'm making dinner. All right, let's do it. Well, it's been on an hour. No, 50 minutes. I feel like I know his life story. That's probably the point. But um, I've wrapped, it's 10 past seven, I've wrapped nine presents. That's not many, is it? But big things that have taken up a lot of room in my special present drawer. Um, and now I'm going to make, excuse me. Well, the choice was between creamy mushroom pie with balsamic roasted sprouts and mash. Good Lord, I love me some mash. Or sprouts and cranberry croquettes with cheese fondue. However, I mean, that sounds amazing. I'm gonna go for this because um, David can have that for lunch heated up tomorrow whilst I'm out picking up the pottery that I made a couple of weeks ago. Do you remember from vlog one? I made some pottery. So I've got to drive to Folkestone tomorrow to pick up the pottery. Um, and uh, yeah, that'd be nice. So I'm gonna get on with that, listen to a bit more of my audio book. Um, I've absolutely shot ahead with, so Christmas Days by Jeanette Winterson, which I've been raving about. I, I did this last year as well, where I planned to just listen to one, because there's 12 stories and 12 sort of little bits about recipes and memoir bits from Jeanette Winterson's life. And to start with, I'm very good and I only listen to one a day, but by the end I'm just like, I just want it all. So yeah, I've only got she knew that millions of people were still 46 minutes of it left. So yeah, there's a high chance that that could be done by the time I've finished cooking, but absolutely splendiferous. Shall I get on with this? One brown onion. We've had Brussels sprouts every single day this week. Well, that was really something. I um, I quite enjoyed it. I think there's definite parts of it which have aged badly and definite parts which feel like they're a film made now. Like in some ways it's very timeless. Um, but despite all that, I was absolutely sobbing like a baby at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously it's doing the the job um so yeah i also finished wrapping i wrapped all like all of david presents i've got some of his stocking presents a few other presents and i used a whole roll of wrapping paper so i thought i'll just keep going till this roll's used up and um that's what i did dinner was delicious it's now 10 past nine and I'm gonna edit my vlog, not vlog, <laughs> just so used to say and edit the vlog. I'm gonna edit um, the book haul video that's gonna go up tomorrow. David said he'll be home about 10 o'clock, so that will be happening soon. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with that and then probably by the time I finished it, David will be home. So I better have this camera because I'm gonna need to edit you. All right, Thursday. David was just singing memory, which is why I sung Thursday in that thing. My God, I am so tired. David, I'm so tired. It's you all these, mentioned. I know, it's all these late nights, but I also feel like achy and tired as well, like I just wanna lay down. Anyway, great news is, it's Thursday, it's about four o'clock. I've just got back from picking up my pottery. Do you remember my pottery in week one? Me and my friend Emma went to do a pottery course. These I'm abs, I'll show you what I'm less delighted with first and then show you this. So this is a little candle holder, aren't I cute? 
with a blue glaze on it, although I clearly didn't go deep enough into the cracks to get that blue glaze on or underneath it. Little candle holder, bit narrow there, but I reckon maybe I could shave a candle and get it in there. Like Wee Willy Winky or um, Scrooge, what do you think? It's all right, little hole punched out of there. It's all right, isn't it, blue? To do something with that, so that's number one thing. And then my pinch pots, which are what I'm most excited about. I didn't get these glazed because I wanted them to look like this, but look, a little embossed, one says salt and one says pepper, and then inside they say salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt in here for pinch potting, a little bit of pepper in here for pinch potting. <laughs> I'm so delighted with them. I can't tell you. I mean, I was delighted with them when I made them, but these are just exactly what I wanted. So, yeah, that's exciting. So, me and my mother drove down there to to collect it. I think that's another reason I'm tired, David, because it's a long drive down there and a long drive that's back, a long drive. That's and like it's two all hours motorway. Driving. So, yeah, it's two hours of literally. Uh, which I mean, luckily anyway. the archers was on on the way back, so I said to my mum, "Let's just listen to the archers," and then she had loads of questions to ask me about the archers. So that filled in a lot of time. Do you time. think your mother is, could get into the? I said should listen to it she was like but how do you find the time to listen to it at the same time every day i said get the podcast mate and it's only 15 minutes 12 minutes 12 minutes but so last time when we went down to make the pottery emma and i went out for lunch this was like the beginning of december we went out for lunch and went into a few of the shops there while i was in the second hand clothing store there i saw a christmas jumper that was in green david you're so cute and this was the very christmas jumper that i saw christmas on the green downtown pika I assume that's somewhere in the US. And I love this because I think this bit looks like Anne of Green Gables. There's something about like, this is just very reminiscent of Anne and Matthew driving across the wake of the Lake of Wonders. Um, and yeah, I loved it then. And I was, I was concerned at the time that it wouldn't fit me. It's an XL, but I sort of thought, oh yeah, maybe I'll go back to it. I forgot. And then when I went in there today, I was like, they've still got that jumper, I'm gonna buy it. So took it to the front desk to pay for it. It's a beautiful green. Um, and her teal had just frozen. And um, I said to my mum, you haven't got 15 pound cash because I don't carry cash. Who below the age of, how old's my mother? 60 does. Um, and she's not 60 yet. <laughs> I've just realized she's 60 next year. Um, and um, she said, oh, I'll treat you to it. So she treat me to it, isn't that lovely? And then the last thing I want to show you before I talk about David and mine plan. So I haven't even opened this yet. So Charlotte Jacqueline, hashtag she's an influencer who i follow on instagram um, i'm very very fond of her sort of like just whole aesthetic and look and stuff and she's been selling quite a lot of her clothes on i'm so excited about this quite a lot of her clothes on depop and i've bought quite a lot of her clothes off her from depop this most recent thing that i've bought is it's a purple cord suit so it's this light purple lilac i believe they call it Charlotte told me she'd wash these trousers literally before she sent them, so I don't even need to wash them. These trousers, the lighting in here is not very good, and then this jacket that will go with it. God, this jacket's heavy, David. I haven't worn a suit or a blazer in God knows how long. It's not gonna go over my jumper, so take my jumper off and then we'll try it on. And I think I'm probably gonna wear that on Christmas, no, on Boxing Day maybe, with, a, 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 I've got Pogue's t-shirt on today with a Christmassy t-shirt on underneath. How does this look on me, David? Yeah, that's nice, I like that. Oh, this is your suit? Yeah, with my trousers. Oh my God, is that suit with stretchy trousers? No, they're not stretchy trousers, they're, oh. they're cord. They're cool though. Does it look nice? Yeah, I think like you probably need to give it a little bit of an iron. Yeah. Just that, but yeah, I think they look really cool. So yeah, so I think I'll wear... A little business and, woman! <laughs> and I also bought a dress from her earlier, which I've unpacked, that I think I'm gonna wear on Christmas Day, so... And on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, I wore pre-owned clothes from Charlotte Jacqueline. So I have heard, actually, that um, there's like a statistic going around that if everybody wore something that was pre-owned or, or, or they already owned, there'd be some... I don't know the end of this statistic, but basically it's good. Well, I saw a report today <laughs> yeah. that reckons by the year 2030, um, is that like recyclable fashion yeah. will outsell fast, fast fashion. fashion. Good, that's what we want to hear, isn't, isn't it? awesome? But I just wish there was better men's. Yeah, I know, especially big boys men's. It's because good, I, would, I would use it. I mean, I yeah. go through Depop occasionally, but... This, this shop rubbish. I went into do today, Bount, we need to get down there, David. You would have such a lovely time there. Mm. We need to get down there. Um, but yeah, so I'm home now. As I said, it's about four o'clock. The plan for the rest of the day, we're very, very excited. We've, we watch a YouTube channel called Salted Food. I'm sure I've gone on about it many, many times. 
is four lads based in the UK. They've got a central office in London and one of them's a chef and three of them are what they dub normals. And they review food things and do food challenges and things like that. I've been watching this channel for a long, long time. It's one of the first sort of like YouTube channels I watch sort of religiously and I love their videos. Love them and always watch them. I know I really like them because I always watch the videos even if they've got meat in them. So I must know I like them. And anyway, today they're doing something, a special Christmas thing that you had to buy online tickets for called Pass It On. So it's a food challenge where there's four of them, as I said. And normally, I don't know how it's going to work on the Christmas one, but they take 10 minutes each. And like one of them starts cooking a dish and then after 10 minutes they go off and the next person has to join and then pick up from where they left off and they're not allowed to talk to each other and stuff like that. And they're doing three different Christmas ones of these. So you could have bought individual tickets for like one event. But um, I just fancied buying tickets for all of them. And originally, David was supposed to be on his Christmas do tonight. He's decided not to go because of COVID. Did you know about COVID? Um, so um, he's decided not to go. David, some of those lights up there aren't on. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Just, just Do you think old. the lights have gone? Yeah, they've just worn oh. down. Um, yeah, so um, I bought a ticket for myself to watch all three of them, thinking, while David's away, I'll have something to do, and I knew I was going to have to pick him up from the train station later. Now, though, great news. David doesn't have to go to his Christmas do. He's decided not to go. And, um, yeah, so he's going to join me and watch them. So the first one's at five. I think I might get into some comfy, although I'm comfy enough in this outfit. Yeah, I'm, I'm staying as I Maybe am. Maybe I'll get in, I'll have a bath in between the second and third one. So the first one's at five, the second one's at eight, and then the last one's at 11. But you can watch them back. So if I don't make it to the 11 one, I could always watch it tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Yeah. And I think they're about two hours long. So It'll yeah. great fun. I'm very excited. Yeah, so we're really looking forward to it. But yeah, so that's the plan for the rest of the evening. And maybe have a big glass of water and just close my eyes for a bit. Happy Saturday. <laughs> time has moved on since the last time we were here. If you've seen our, my Instagram or our um, Cozy Reading Night vlog, we ain't been very well. I'm feeling a bit better, although, guess what? I'm on my period now, so that makes me feel not so better. Dave's got a headache today. But, but I feel better yeah, than I so did this morning. We, um, we had some very strange COVID-like symptoms. After I'd filmed that last video, which I think was on Thursday, saying I was really, really tired. Well, that night, it just descended into madness, didn't it? Rop proper madness for me. Proper madness. I was very high temperature, hallucinating. Oh, there's David's takeaway. We're, we've tested, David's having to tell people to leave things at the door <laughs> um, because we're, we, we wondered if we had COVID. So we've done some PCR tests. The result hasn't come back. That was on Friday. Um, and yeah so we're still isolated actually let me just see if i've had a text in the last no i haven't had a text we're waiting for the results back of the pcr test the only thing that makes me think it wasn't covid is that it was over and done with quite quickly although i do still feel rotten now but i think that's mainly period pain but yeah so what a um <laughs> what a flat ending shut the door because we're tested at the minute so if you could just drop off at the door he's, d he's dropping it off at the door Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice um, yeah, so what a flat ending to the vlog. I hope that's been alright. Yeah. <laughs> I hope the rest of it was uh, suitably high level. And yeah, as ever, we'll keep you updated on Instagram, etc. If we when we get our test results back. It's the Strictly Final tonight. Another sad thing, AJ's had to drop out of the Strictly Final. So it's just John and Rose in the final. And AJ was my true winner. Um, but now I think I'll default to Rose. Although I love John, regardless, and I'd be That's happy. the thing, like as I was saying earlier, and many people said it's very sad that AJ's not in it, but if she was, I wouldn't really care who wins because I feel like they'd all be deserving, but I think Rose will win tonight. I think I wanted AJ to win. I voted for AJ throughout. But yeah. But anyway, yeah. we've got a takeaway. That's what was just being dropped off at the door. Was it your takeaway or my takeaway? It was my takeaway. Okay. And uh, yeah, Strictly Final. And then that's it. So <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> Last time we did the Strictly final in the vlog last year, it had just been announced by Boris that Christmas was essentially cancelled. And we still don't know if Christmas is cancelled for us. <laughs> because if we have got COVID, mm. we um, will have to isolate until the 27th. Um, which, by which point, Christmas will be over. Don't love the tree down. <laughs> I don't know if we'd like that, but yeah. But yeah. Thanks anyway for watching the vlog this week, guys. And uh, we'll see you all again soon. Bye. Bye.